Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on expanding an expression of the form x plus a, x plus b, x plus c. And this is the first video where we explore multiplying three brackets together. And if you haven't seen my videos on expanding two brackets together, please watch those first before you come to this video. Now, if you have three brackets like this, what we need to do is to multiply two of the brackets together first. So we could multiply these two brackets first, which is what I tend to do, or you can multiply these two brackets first. Theoretically, you could multiply these two brackets first, but I think that's a bit more obscure. So I'm going to first multiply these two brackets together. So let's do that on the next line. We've got the x plus two still, and I want to multiply these two brackets together. And remember how we multiply two brackets together? To expand two brackets, multiply each term in the first bracket by each term in the second. So we're going to do each thing in this first bracket times each thing in the second. So we do the first thing here, the x times each of these things. So we're going to do the x times the x, and we're going to do the first times the second thing, and also the x, so the x times the 4. So x times x is just x squared x times 4 is 4x, so we've got plus 4x. And then we do the second thing in this first bracket times each of the things in the second bracket. So we do the 1 times the x, which is x, and we do the 1 times the 4, which is 4. Now we might want to tidy up this second bracket by collecting like terms. To collect like terms, they have to have the same powers. So x squared doesn't collect with anything because none of these are x squared terms, but we do have 4x plus x. They are like terms. They have an x without any power. 4 lots of x plus 1 lot of x is 5 lots of x. And we still got that plus 4. So now we've got from 3 brackets to 2 brackets by just multiplying 2 of the brackets together first. And in a previous video, we saw how we can multiply two brackets together where we have three things in one of the brackets. And it's no different to multiplying two brackets where you just got two things. We still apply this golden principle here, which is to multiply each term in this first bracket by each term in the second. So each term in this bracket times by each term in this one. So let's do the x times each of these things first. So we got the x times the x squared x times x squared is x cubed. We got the x times the 5x. Well, the x times the x is x squared, so we get 5x squared. And we do the x times the 4, which is 4x. And now we do the second thing in this first bracket times each of the things in the second. So we've got 2 times the x squared, which is 2x squared. We've got 2 times 5x, which is 10x. And we got 2 times 4, which is 8. So we've got all the terms now expansion. All we need to do now is to just collect like terms again to tidy up. So we've got an x cubed term here. Do we have any other x cubed terms? No, we don't. So we've just got the x cubed. Do we have any x squared terms? Yes, we do. We've got 5x squared plus 2 lots of x squared. That's 7 lots of x squared, isn't it? Do we have any x terms? Well, we've got 4x plus 10x, that's 14 lots of x. And finally, do we have any non-x terms, or constant terms as we call them? Well, we've got this plus a, so we put the plus a, and that is the final answer.